Little Miss GMAC. Videos. Hey everybody! Well, we finally got the dollhouse complete. Now I'm going to show you exactly what we've been working on for the past month. So we're starting with the stable area that Little Miss GMAC and I have set up. As you can see, we have Jackson and her horse uh, Midnight there in the stable area. Moving along, we are going to Miss Carissa, Julie, Jess, Lainey, and Bella's room here. As you can see, they are all sitting there. Miss Tutu is on the chair here. There's Julie sitting with her dogs. And there's Jess with a monkey. There's some popcorn and a phone over there. There's Lainey with Minnie Isabel and her bunny Lulu. And here is Isabel herself working on her dance bar. And then we move into the laundry area. As you can see, the washer and dryer are on top of each other. And there's an American Girl suitcase. We have the little laundry center there with a bunch of hangers. And then this is the backyard area. So there is a Journey Girls lawn chair with a towel and an umbrella. And there are a string of like lantern lights going from the house to the wall. And here is Carissa's retired picnic set from American Girl in the backyard, all set up for the girls to have a nice relaxing picnic. Then we move into Little Miss GMAC's cafe, where she has um, Grace Thomas's bistro set, set set up here. And you can see Miss Ivy is having a nice snack. And then we have Sage at the other table enjoying a sandwich and a drink. And we have Kit working the table over there or the stand with her apron. And then we move on to the retired treats and eats table, which we've done a review on, so check out for that video. And you can see Samantha is working hard, getting some treats ready. And then we have this doll over here in her bed. And I think Mackenzie. her name is Mackenzie. And she's just relaxing, sitting with her dog, Sugar. And now we're moving into the living room area. We have a lot of pieces in here, so bear with me. We have the fold-out chair from American Girl that turns into a bed. I'm not sure if it's retired in the corner there. We do have this retired stand from American Girl. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff on it. And on the inside, we have the earring tree. We have a picture of Miss Isabel with an owl. And we have a couple other dolls in a photo frame. And there is Praline sitting there. We have our girls Wii, and as you can see, our TV is not working today. We do have the Xbox controller with a phone. I guess the girls were having a snack on the games table here. And then there's another fold-out chair. We have the Circle of Friends poster with the pets. And here we have our recycling cans. There's uh, one for recycling and one for garbage. And this is where Little Miss GMAC has her clothes. All in there. And we have some purses on the top. And we do have a um, video on some on uh, her clothes and shoes. So check that out for that video. And inside, we have, in this container, we do have a Snoozapalooza book by American Girl. A little DVD. And a pack of cards. Now in the next container, we have a checkers game from American Girl and an apples to apples game from American Girl so that the girls when they get bored can play. Okay, so give me a minute and then we're going to show the big finished dollhouse. Be back. Okay, so the top floor, the first room we're going to show is Miss McKenna Brooks's room. Now, as you can see, we've got McKenna, her name, uh, up there in pink with a gymnastics sticker underneath. 
her bed is purple, and as you can see, she's sitting on it here. She's got a little stuffed bunny. The bedding is owl bedding, and it was made by a local lady from Little Bean's Boutique. There's her dog, Cooper, sitting there. She's got some shoes here. She's got a rug with some stars on or flowers on it from and her slippers from American Girl. She's got a retired table from American Girl with this lamp that actually turns on and off on it. She's got her little cell phone. And she has some of her pieces from her performance set here. All in Miss McKenna's room. So that is McKenna's room. Moving along. Okay, so the next room on the top floor is Cecile's room. As you can see, she's sitting here on her bed. Again, the custom bedding was done by Little Bean's Boutique. And she's got some lovely pictures on her wall. There's a bird. There's a sticker that says Dream, Cherish. There's a big C there for her name. She's got her boots and slippers. She's got her dog, Honey, sitting there, who is retired from American Girl. She's got some lovely white and red stars sort of going in a shooting star shape on the ceiling there. She's got a stuffed bear and a stuffed Santa Claus. She's also got some other pictures here. Believe, laugh, love, and hope. She's also got a little alarm clock and a sleep mask. And this little dresser that I hand painted for Cecile is from our local dollar store. Okay, so the first room I'm going to show on the second floor is Mia Sinclair's room, Girl of the Year 2008, I believe. She is retired from American Girl. As you can see, she's got a frozen theme in her room. The bedding, again, is custom made by Little Beans Boutique. And on her bed with her, she has a stuffed Olaf, the penguin from her accessory set, and a little stuffed reindeer. She also has her skates at the end of her bed and her beret. We got this blue rug from Hobby Lobby. And we have the husky dog, Pepper, sitting on a retired pet bed from American Girl. She's got Elsa on the wall and some snowflake stickers. She's got some other Elsa and, and Olaf stuff. In the back there, there's a snowflake box. With it, it On top of it is her Walkman and headphones, an alarm clock, uh, plastic Olaf and Elsa uh, figurines, and a little American Girl book. And over on this wall, we have penguins and snowflakes. If you would like a more in-depth tour of any of these rooms, please comment down below and I will do them. Moving on. Okay, so the next room on the second floor that I'm going to talk about is Kanani, Girl of the Year 2011, retired from American Girl. Again, she has custom bedding by Little Beans Boutique. And as you can see, her pillow actually has her name Kanani on it with Hawaiian flowers. She's got her uh, blue dolphin. She's got some palm trees and other Hawaiian stuff. She's got a surfboard that says Surf Sap. And this beautiful little flower hook, which I got at Hobby Lobby, where it holds her dog leash and her bag. She's got a beach ball. She's got a little blue rug with her slippers. And her dog chocolate chip is in the back. The dresser is from Michael's, and I painted it. She's got a flower vase with some fresh flowers, her toothbrush and her toothpaste, some nail polish, a clock, and she's got her One Direction book. And this is Miss Kanani's room. Okay, so now this is the bottom floor. The first room I'm going to show is the kitchen. Now, I'm sorry, we haven't got the lights put up yet. That is going to be another <laughs> thing that we're going to have to do. But I'm going to talk about the kitchen a little bit. If you'd like a more in-depth tour, please comment down below. So, she's got the, uh, this is the table and chairs from American Girl. And on top of it is the uh, delicious breakfast set. She's also got coffee mugs from American Girl. 
She's got a the Our Generation kitchen set in the back there, the fridge and the stove. She's got dog food dishes from uh, the pet set from American Girl. It's got Pepper's name on it. And in the back here, I'm trying to get a better shot. I hope you guys can see. She's got some lovely little chef store to style stickers. She's got a um, thing that says hot stuff. She's got an oven mitt and a pot holder from American Girl Retired that are on the wall. And she's got some more cute stickers over there. She's got a dog um, food thing in the back on top of the fridge. She's got some popcorn, some mixing bowls. And I guess the girls need to clean up their kitchen. It's a little messy. But like I said, if you'd like a more in-depth tour, please let me know and I will do so. That is the kitchen. Okay, so the last room we're going to show in the dollhouse tour is Grace Thomas, Girl of the Year 2015. This is her room. As you can see, I'm going to try to do this the best that I can. She has her bed. She's got a little cupcake pillow, which we got from our local dollar store. And again, the bedding is custom done by Little Beans Boutique. And Grace's has her name embroidered on the comforter. That is the difference between hers and Kanani's. And of course, she has her dog Bonbon there. A black rug, which we got from Hobby Lobby. And we have this little amazing miniature sized doll chair, which we actually got from Party City. And as you can see, little mini Grace is sitting in it relaxing. On the wall here, we have done Grace's name in like gems. I'm trying to get it all the way down here so you can see. And in the back, she's got her Eiffel Tower sticker with her Paris, her cafe. She's got a pink dresser, which is uh, from American Girl, with her fish tank on top, her headband, and there's a garbage can next to her bed. And over here, we have this hook, which we actually got from Hobby Lobby. It's got the Eiffel Tower on it and it's hanging her apron from her baking set, the baking outfit. She's got her shoes down here and as you can see on the bedding it says ooh la la. Now Grace's room is still a little bit of a work in progress but we wanted to get as much as we had done up and running for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. Can we get a like and a subscribe please? And don't forget, if you are a subscriber to Little Miss GMAC or you want to be, subscribe and um, enter the subscriber giveaway contest that we have going on. Check out for that video. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon. Tired honey. She's so cute. She's one of my favorites. And she is a golden color. And, and here is a pink collar. It's a pink collar. And it says, honey. Yeah.